hey youtube welcome back to my channel it's me jennifer and before we get started today y'all know what i'm gonna say right go ahead subscribe to my channel the little red button on the right down here subscribe it may be this may be your left that i'm pointing whatever it is subscribe like my video and comment oh and don't forget to share i need more traction and i need some more subscribers so can y'all do me a favor? Do that for your girl. That's all I ask. Okay, now that we got that out the way, let's get into the video. So, I know y'all like, road trip. Why she talk about road trip? Hey, you ain't been watching the news. Like, really, you ain't been watching the news, girl. First of all, some of y'all don't even know how to act on the plane or in the airport. So, you need to be driving. <laughs> Holding us up who know how to act accordingly. And then... Second thing, y'all ain't missing all these cancellations and delays. Why well, put yourself through there? Really? If you know it's a possibility. Now, I know we can't drive everywhere. So, that's why I'm making this video. We can't drive everywhere. But the places you can drive. Let's hit the open road. So, before we hit this open road, let's go with a few little tips and tricks to have a safe and fun road trip. So number one, make sure you got your car in order. So whether it's maintenance on your car or if you're getting a rental car because you know the rental cars has been a little short lately and they've been a little bit more expensive. Let's just talk about it. They have been more expensive because a lot of the rental cars did sell the inventory last year due to COVID, no one was traveling. We couldn't do anything. So a lot of them have sold them. So now they scrambling for cars. They up in the prices. So make sure you have everything, your insurance, a major credit card, um, make sure it's booked before you try to, oh, I'm just gonna wake up in the morning and get a car. <laughs> you can't do that no more, not no more. So, make sure you have all that in order. Um, and I say insurance because, you know, you can use your own car insurance for a rental car. So, if you don't want to go and use the rental car insurance, use your own. You could definitely do that. Um, oh, and your car maintenance. If you have a reliable transportation, just get keep your upkeep on your car. Save you some money. Only thing you have to worry about is gas. Make sure your tires are good. You don't want to hit the open road. Your car driving for hours. Tires, tires hot. Let me tell y'all, them tires get hot on the highway. So you want to make sure you got good tires, good brakes. Definitely have an oil change, tune up, all that good stuff. So make sure you have that maintenance on your car. Um, what's next? You want to make sure. With the road trip, you pick a destination in which is drivable. So if you know you can only drive two, two, um, two hours, six hours, pick something in your time frame in which you know that you can drive. Especially if you're going by yourself or if you're with someone else, maybe they don't feel like driving. Especially if your car, you got to drive your own car now. <laughs> maybe they don't feel like driving. Or maybe they get sick and you still want to go. So pick something into which you can drive. I always say, especially if this is your first road trip. Or if you are a type of person who really don't like to drive or drive far. Pick something that's about two to four hours away from your home. So that way you can definitely make it to your destination. And two to four hours not bad y'all. Because you can still get there. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the city in which you're going to. So that way you can have four days. Now if you're doing some eight to ten hours. Well hold up now. Get you a hotel. Because sometimes people can't drive that straight through. And that's fine too. Because sometimes you're going to want to stop. You see a little outlet mall on side of the highway. You're going to want to stop. You see a gas station or food place you done heard about. You're going to want to stop. So allow yourself to enjoy the open road. Don't just say you're going to drive straight through. Now if it's two hours, baby, just, just drive them two hours. <laughs> Let's just do that. Just drive those two hours. But if it's something like six to like eight ten hours go ahead it's okay to stop stretch your legs get you some gas re-up on the snacks stop at a restaurant stop at a store anything like that whatever you feel 
that you want to do on your road trip, do that and travel with like-minded people. Whether you road trip or not flying, you definitely going to travel with like-minded people. Don't travel with nobody who's going to want to stop every five minutes, especially if you just trying to get there. That ain't going to never work. Don't travel with nobody who just want to get there. You're going to want to stop if you see something interesting outside of the road. So, make sure you travel with like-minded people. Um, Third thing. Make sure y'all set your playlist before you go. Whatever you stream on Tidal, Apple, Pandora, Spotify, YouTube, create your playlist so that way you ain't got to keep looking down at your phone, looking up, looking down, looking up. You might as well be texting and driving. So set you a playlist, get you a good playlist, set your music by your mood. Now, if you know slow music going to put you to sleep, don't do that. Now, if you know rap music going to make you speed and get tickets, Honey, don't do that neither, honey. Because why would you want to hold up your time getting a ticket? And why you want to pay them tickets? Because I know here in Texas, them tickets are very expensive. So you definitely don't want to speed through Texas. Um, so do that. Also, before y'all hit the open road, look over your route. Look over your route. See where you are going. Don't just hop in the car and put on the GPS. Some people don't mind do that. Me, I have to look at my route. Like, okay, let me see which highways I'm going to have to take. Let me see which on-ramp or off-ramp I'm going to have to get on or off to. Um, also, it may be a good idea to print off your uh, route from like MapQuest or Google Maps, especially if you have a lot of twists and turns or you're going to be off the road or you know it won't be any cell service, just to be on the safe side. Now, if you just got straight highway, you know, you're probably just getting off on of one or two exits, just memorize those exits and just know about how far you're going to be on the highway or how long you're going to be on the highway. So that's a great tip. Like, make sure you preview your route. Don't just hop in your car, start up and go. Please don't do that. <laughs> um, next, I know y'all gonna want some snacks. Get you some good road trip snacks. What do you like to snack on? And I say snacks, don't be packing like wings, pork chops. That's gonna be too heavy on your stomach. And you know when you eat, the, eat that heavy food, you get the itis. So, you don't wanna get sleepy on them highways, swerving in and out of lane. They think you drunk. No, you just full and sleepy. So get you something like get you some popcorn, get you some chips, um, cookies. What I prefer when I'm traveling, which I, is just something I prefer, definitely gum. I prefer chewy candy like the uh, sour gummy worms. Mm. So good on the road and it keep you up that little sour hit your little throat keep you up wake you up um what else i prefer i prefer a red bull not coffee because coffee kind of sent me to the bathroom y'all don't tell nobody else though but and i love coffee but i know i cannot drink that and travel so oh and i always keep some water i don't drink much water because you have to keep stopping i'm one of the people I don't really like to stop much. Not if I ain't got to. Especially if I ain't going for them. I don't need to stop much. Um, so those are my snacks that I actually like. So that's what I like to travel and eat with. Um, next. Make sure y'all have some type of tissue. Some type of wipes. Something to if you need to blow your nose. If you spill something. Or if you need to wipe off something. I always get you some tissue, paper towels, some type of baby wipes, anything like that. And now make sure you have your mask, have your germ mask, because you're going to have to go in and out of the gas station, um, in and out of the bathrooms. So even though they say it's no mask mandate, I still wear mine. So that's why I say make sure you have that. Um, oh, you also want to make sure you have a major credit card just in case you have an emergency make sure like if your tire go out um if you have to stay another day and it's always good or for fuel too for gas i'm sorry fuel my dad say fuel he's a truck driver so that's what we always say but you want to make sure like when you're paying at the pump you know it's easy for people to like steal your credit card information or your identity stuff like that so I always use a credit card because if they steal something off your credit card, guess what? 
those banks have insurance on that money. So you don't lose anything. Yeah, maybe they have to stop your credit cards and your new one, but that's it. You don't lose any money. Um, you don't have to do all this extra stuff to protect your identity, all of that. Use a credit card. Um, let's see what else. I have some stuff written down, y'all. I want to make sure I get it all. But no, I, I just think right now road trips kind of the way to go. Long as you ain't going overseas or anything like that because it's just make it easier all you want to make sure you have your car charger so for me when i travel i make sure that my phone is fully charged make sure that thing on freddy honey make sure it's full 100 percent before you leave so that way when you get down the road then you plug in your phone you don't want to have to plug in your phone as soon as you get in the car so do that um if you are traveling with other people and whoever's the driver have to be the most comfortable. So always have you a blanket, a little pillow, because if they need to drive when it's cold, let them drive when it's cold. So that way they can stay up, they could be alert, or if they need to be hot, I'm sorry you got stuff to do it. Get your little portable fan, honey. That's what you have to do. Next and last thing I will say, make sure you have a cooler bag, what if you want to bring some drinks or you stop at a place that have some good snacks but need to stay cool? Get you a cooler bag. It's way easier than having an actual cooler. You can actually just stuff it on top of something and it keeps everything cool and frozen. So that's what I suggest. Down below, comment what you suggest on road tripping. Did I cover everything? What do you do when you road trip? Let your girl know. I want to know because guess what? I'm going to hit the open road soon and... I probably need some more tricks. I don't know. Some stuff I probably don't do because guess what? I really don't like driving no more, y'all. I am a flyer. But since since I have to, I will. <laughs> Let's just say that. So I hope this video was helpful for y'all. I hope y'all really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, comment down below, subscribe, and share. I'll see y'all next video. Thanks for watching.